Good morning. We'll now start. Um, we're still in the the first test, and we'll now start on section nine on page four twenty three. So let's start with the first problem. So problem number one. Number one. If five t equals forty five, five t is equal to forty five. And t k, t k is equal to one. What is k? What is k? Well, five t equals forty-five. This is an easy equation. You divide both sides by five, you get t equals nine. And then you have t k equals one. We know what t is equal to. T is equal to nine, right? So we get nine k is equal to one. Divide both sides by nine. You get k is equal to one over nine. And that is choice B. That was pretty straightforward. All right. Number two. Number two, I'll switch colors. Number two. Number two. It takes four complete rotations to, of, a, of to, it takes four, it's early in the morning, I can't even read properly. It takes four complete turns of a crank to raise a window two inches. So four turns, raise the window two inches, two inches. At this rate, how many turns does it take to raise the same window three and a half inches? Okay, so you know four turns two inches. Just to simplify things, we can say, well, that's the same thing as, well, two, two turns, two turns per inch, right? Two turns per inch. Or you could even say one turn per half inch. But let's just say two turns per inch. I just divided the top by two, right? If four turns to do two inches, it's going to take two turns to do one inch. And it wants to know the same window three and a half inches. Three. Actually, when I first read it, I read it as three and a half feet. So oh, actually, this, is, this isn't bad. Three and a half. So we want to go three and a half inches. It's early in the morning. My brain is still foggy. Three and a half inches. So actually, we, I mean, we could actually even ignore this. So we could just set this up as a ratio. Four turns goes goes two inches is equal to x turns for three and a half. And three and a half, we could let's just write that as uh, we could write that as three point five, or we could write that as seven halves. X is to seven halves, and then we cross multiply. So four times seven over two is equal to two x. And then this cancels with this, and we have 14 is equal to 2x. x is equal to 7 turns. And that's choice B. Sorry for leading in the wrong direction. I thought they said 3 and a half feet at first. OK, turn the page. Number 3. Image clear. All right, I'll switch colors again. Keeps it interesting for me, at least. OK, if x over y is equal to 2 thirds, so x over y is equal to 2 thirds, what is the value of, what is the value of 3x over 2y? So we know this, how, and how do we get the value of this? Well, we could just manipulate this relationship algebraically so we have 3x over 2y on the left-hand side. And then whatever we end up on the right-hand side is our answer. So let's see how you do that. So we start off with x over y is equal to 2 over 3. Well, to get here, let's multiply both sides by 3, right? So if you do a 3 over here, you have to also multiply this side by 3. And then if we multiply both sides by 1 half, right? Because this 2 in the denominator is essentially 1 half, right? Then you end up with a 2 here, and you end up with a 2 here. And so now we have 3x and 2y. And now we have 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 2 is 6. And that equals 1. Choice C. All right, the next one looks like I have to do some drawing, so let me clear this out a little bit. Number 4. In the figure above, let me draw the figure above. Looks complicated. Okay, so 
I have one line that goes roughly straight like this. I have one line that goes straight up like this. That. And I have another line that crosses that line. Something like that. Something like that. And then I got a bunch of points. Let me draw the points. It takes more time to draw these than to maybe do them. Although I haven't done this, so I don't know. Maybe it will take time. N. This is P. And this is T. And then. R S and then I have O and I got the angle maybe they're calling this angle Y they're calling this Y degrees they say this angle here is 20 degrees and they say this is a right angle and they say that this angle right here is x degrees. All right, so let's read what they're saying now. So in the figure above, PS, so this is PS, and TR intersected O. Right, we drew that. ON is perpendicular to PS. Right, ON is perpendicular. This is my little perpendicular signal, look like an R. OK, that's perpendicular. What is the value of y minus x? Interesting. So y minus x. So let me ask you uh, uh, a question. Y is the opposite angle to what, right? If you if you remember from the geometry, uh, opposite angles are equivalent, right? If I have two lines that intersect like this, then this angle is going to be equal to this angle, right? So we know this is y. So what angle is opposite y? Well, this angle is opposite y. This whole thing. So what is this angle? This angle is x degrees plus this 90 degrees, right? It's x plus 90. That's this whole angle, right? I added this part of it plus this part. And that equals this whole angle, and it's the same thing as y. And they just really, you know, they drew all this stuff to really confuse you. Wrote 20 degrees here. None of that. I mean, that none of that really matters. So y is going to be equal to this whole angle, and that whole angle is going to be equal to this 90 degrees. Right is equal to this part plus this part plus x. Subtract x from both sides, you get y minus x is equal to 90. That's it. That was number four. That's choice C. I drew all that, and the problem took too too little time. Okay, your image invert. All right. Okay, so here they got a schedule. In the schedule above, and hopefully you have your book open. I'm on page 424. In the schedule above, each session is to be one and a half hours long. Each break is to be quarter hour long, and lunch is to be one hour long. All right, if session, oh boy, I should just draw this thing. Maybe I'll it'll run into the, it'll run into the. Oh no 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 no! I didn't want to do that. I did undo. Okay, so this is my. Chart, I have three columns. I got this one, and I got this one, and then I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so then I have this one, two, two. Three, four. I know I'm gonna run out of space. Five. I'm trying to make this too easy. Seven. I make this too neat. Eight. I don't know if I ran out of space or not, but anyway, I'll probably have to continue this in the next in the next video. But I'll just keep drawing until the time runs out, and the next video it'll be all set up. So let's see, this is event. Event. Begin time. Begin. End. Actually, I'll just continue this in the next video. I don't want to waste your time drawing this. I'll draw it, and then we'll start the next video on this problem.